Welcome to Oral CRM's video tutorial series. This is Alex with Oral CRM, and today I'll be demonstrating how to work with the native Oral CRM sales flow. This flow will begin with a new lead, progress through opportunity creation, and conclude by closing the opportunity. This flow is a common scenario if your business utilizes a sales team. The out of the box process will fit most businesses' general sales flow. However, modification of the workflow is possible to fit your business's specific needs. Before diving into the flow, let's clarify some terminology. Lead, a person who may be interested in doing business. Qualified lead, a person who is a potential customer. Examples include someone in the market for your product or someone unhappy with their current provider or product. Disqualified lead, a person who is not a potential customer. Examples include bad contact details, such as invalid email or telephone or a person that does not use your type of product. New opportunity, a chance to make a deal. Closed one opportunity, a deal that has been closed with a sale. Closed lost opportunity, a deal that has been closed without a sale. For this example, we will begin with a brand new lead. Let's navigate to sales, leads, and select our new lead. When working with a new lead, we will want to perform some kind of outreach to verify if this lead is a qualified lead or not. Typically, this will be done through activities such as phone calls or emails. In my case, I'll log a telephone call that I just finished. This customer expressed interest in the widgets I have available for sale, so I know he's a valid customer. In addition, this lead has asked me to call back later today to review options. For this purpose, I will create an event for later today by clicking the Actions menu and selecting Add Event. Finally, since I know this is a qualified customer, I'll qualify him by clicking the Convert to Opportunity icon in the top right hand corner of the page. This will open the Create Opportunity page. While there are many fields presented here, only the Account field is required. The account field here is actually a combination of the account record and a business customer. If this is a new lead, like my example here, I will need to create these related records. Fortunately, this is as easy as simply filling in the field, watching for new to appear in parentheses, and clicking enter. While other fields are not mandatory, it is good practice to take detailed notes. In my case, I will fill out the entire opportunity. By default, Changing the opportunity status will automatically change the related probability field. This mapping can be configured under System, Configuration, CRM, Sales Pipeline, and Opportunity. Note if you manually change the probability fields in the opportunity, it will no longer be automatically updated through status changes. There are three different ways to transition an opportunity through statuses. First, is by opening the opportunity and clicking the Edit button. Note how changing the status automatically updated the probability percentage. The second way is to use inline grid editing, available from the Grid View page. Again, note our probability change. Finally, the last way is to change the board to Board View. From here, you can drag and drop an opportunity to transition it through statuses. As opportunities are updated and moved through transitions, this will impact pipeline reports and dashboard widgets. Once the deal is at the end and final statuses should be set, opportunities should be set to closed lost or closed one. These represent the 100% and 0% probability choices respectively. While the goal is always to closed one, closed lost is important as well. This can be accessed from the ellipses and the edit menu. When setting these ending statuses, don't forget to enter a close reason. This can be used later for reporting and analytics to determine what improvements sales managers can make. In addition to all the steps mentioned up until now, there is an additional way to work with opportunities. Opportunities have a workflow that is available out of the box. However, it comes disabled. To enable the workflow, Navigate to System, Workflows, then select Opportunity Management. Finally, click Activate. Upon activation, there will be a few changes made throughout Oro CRM. 
Any opportunities already created or in progress can be worked without the workflow if desired. Otherwise, the workflow can be started by clicking the Start Opportunity Management Workflow, which I will demonstrate. All newly created opportunities will begin with this workflow enabled. You'll note on the Opportunity View page there will be several new buttons. These buttons are Develop, Close as One, and Close as Lost. Clicking on the Develop button will open a pop-up modal which will allow for modification of the most relevant fields in the opportunity. Again, modifying the status of the opportunity will automatically adjust the probability field. You'll note that while editing opportunity status, you no longer have the option to select Closed as Won or Closed as Lost. This is because this functionality is now handled by the Workflow Step buttons within the opportunity. Clicking either of these Close As buttons will prompt you for the re values related to the Close option selected. Close as one will request close revenue and close date. Close as lost will request a close reason and a close date. Thanks for watching. You could check out more videos at orocrm.com/media-library.